G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, GD. So after doing green circuits last episode, it's time to look at red circuits. Now red circuits have two big problems. Uh, one, the builds are always big. We do have bigger and better beacons, etc. that we can use now. So that is a saving. The other problem is um, they're long. And I think it's at the length that's going to get us. So first thing I want to do is I want to flip them sideways. That gives me basically from where these green circuit belts sort of exit to the left all the way up to our train tracks. Actually, we might start the train track end and work our way backward. Let's just use this as a rough guide. One, two, no three. Okay, if I remove that, and we'll work it the other way. One, two. No, no matter what, the train tracks are going to get in the way. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to put this roughly in the middle. Roughly in the middle. Uh, which is also going to lead to another problem. The other problem we're going to have to sort out is plastic. Because this ain't going to cut it. Not a hope. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Now, I have more oil. That's not really an issue. And I have coal here. And I have this little this little mining depot down here that was doing this coal. And running it in the steam power that we haven't used in a long time. So, technically, this is another option. Um... Is that part of the blueprint? Oh, I guess so. Uh, let's re actually, let's redo this entirely. We're just gonna power the whole lot up from the outside. Uh, one there, one there, uh, one there. Okay. Next thing I need to do is I need to use my magic upgrade planner to go to mark three beacons, mark six modules, and mark six modules. L. Module. Uh, yeah, I see there's a small shortage. Okay. But for some reason, I have 1.3k speed. Two, no, speed fours in stock. So we should probably. Oh, we have a shortage of blue circuits. Uh, yes. Okay. Hang on. L. Module. 36,000 speed module threes. Okay, we're gonna stop that and that and that and that and that. I'm gonna stop all that running. Because uh, that's obviously eating a certain amount of speed, uh, of, of blue circuits out of the network. Um, and in theory, most of our circuits are coming from off site. Uh, so it should be fine. Um, what are we talking about? The, the backlog went from 4.1k down to a lot. A lot still. And it looks like we're out of beacons. Yep. Yeah, this is the problem we're trying to do these builds. The base is still, still not at a point where it can actually sustain building some of these expensive things. Uh, blue circuit issue. Can I do anything about the base blue circuits? Nope, you're eating greens as fast as possible. Even if I threw speed modules at the problem and made these builds go faster, their input isn't faster. So there's absolutely no point. Uh, I can stamp down a temporary build. Oh, hang on. Can we? Oh, we have stopped these running. Okay. 
Well, we managed to empty one lot of lasers. Uh, you know what? I actually don't care that you don't have power. Uh, okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, I don't want to go through the hassle of... No, because I don't have the red circuits to support making more blue circuits. Because that would impede this. Okay, there's nothing we can do about it. We're just going to wait for the base to get there. The base will get there. Um, okay, you're too big and too broken for me to run max rate calculator with it. So I'm going to rip up half of you. And that way, hopefully, I get one complete build. Because that's what I need. I would need one complete build to use a max rate calculator on to see at what speed do things do does run at. Uh, and that still leaves me a hundred modules short. Uh, we want to go from speed six to speed three, please. Uh, 36. Actually, these are probably the wrong ones to be upgrading. Let's change these back. Uh, so you're doing nothing. We'll have yours. Thank you. You're doing nothing. We'll have yours. You're doing almost nothing. We'll have yours. Uh, that's not quite a hundred, but hopefully it's close enough. Uh, two, four, eight. Nope. Two, two. Is that always short? Two. I can wait for two. Two is a number I'm happy to wait for. Okay, so we're gonna wait for two more of them. Or actually, I'm impatient. Uh, yoink. Uh. Nope, uh, that one. Nope, I need to run far away from this build first, then upgrade it. Okay, we'll just leave it for a second. You take it a hundred and what? And your numbers are now wrong, but they were like a hundred and forty. Well, like 140 green circuits. And this down wants 140. On top of that, it wants 130 plastic. If we remember this build here. thirty, thirty. I had problems getting 30 plastic together. Like, major problems getting oil done fast enough to get 30 plastic together. And this one's 130 plastic? Well, the good news is, we only need one red circuit build. I gotta feed it. I don't know how the hell we're doing that. Yeah, there's not even a point to cutting it down to 8 to 8 beacons. Because um, then all the machines would run slower. And that would be okay if you're module short. Um, which we are technically. We are technically module short at the moment. But I really don't care. Um, okay, and a 100 copper plate could also be an issue. Actually, no, it goes in... Oh, 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 oh. None of these are set to the right recipe. Okay. I know, you've been yelling at the screen, it's fine. We're gonna change the recipes over. Okay. Five, five, four, way better. Okay. So that means if I double the length of the build, we're now talking eight, 10, and 10. Okay, eight, 10, and 10, we might be able to do. Uh, okay, first thing is I have 
four products uh, I need to deal with when it comes to this particular build. Uh, I have... I have, well, five products. Yes, yeah, so I have red circuits out, green circuits in, uh, plastic in, and copper cable in. At the moment, we're bringing copper cable, which is actually on the wrong type of assembler. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's ah, a bit better. Ah, 13, 13, 9. Yes, these assemblers are definitely Mark 5. Okay, I'm worried that people are going to yell at me even more. Okay, that's even more. All right. So that'd be 13 is 26, 26 and 26. So I can just do that. 9 is 20, so I can do copper. And then cables will be 29 on the belt, which is fine. Okay, so I can do two of these builds, and it's going to still leave me an oil problem, which I have to work out somehow. And currently, even this oil only had module 3s in them. Uh, logistics... Those auto trash the whole lot. Turns out I want to have to keep those in stock. And normal beacons. Auto trash the whole lot. Yeah, we're at that point of the game. Uh, top level stuff or nothing. Alright. So I have a module shortage. Which will get corrected over time. But we're at that point of the game where I'm now building as fast as the modules are coming in because I probably skipped a stepping stone. I probably should have gone for... I should have probably done this particular build with stacked recipes and just a normal module threes. Um, although you're literally being held up by processing units. Which, if I could speed that up, I'd be doing a whole lot better. Alright, back to this problem. Um, okay, so if I brought in green circuits... Alright, really it's plastic. So the question is, do I do... Do I extend these lasers out? And... Technically, this is in robot range anyway. So do I extend these lasers out? Use this oil to make a plastic build here with this coal which is one hell of a distance i know i agree uh, this coal this uh oil make a plastic build run it into the build run the electric so uh, the green circuits <sighs> the green circuits i'm thinking can i bring the green circuits down and have it share this belt because it comes from the right. And the answer is yes. But then I need to make the copper cable at this end and have it share a baby belt going no, do I? Can I put green circuits on one side of the belt, copper on the other side of the belt, have them go this way? Have copper cable be made at this end and passed up, and have no hang on copper cable, copper in to copper cable. Copper cable is going to come out here with green circuits. No, because I can't. Oh, hang on, and then we consume plastic on the left hand side coming in and output to the same side of the belt and have red circuits pop out this end with a split up yes okay so that's going to be the loose plan loose plan uh we're going to build this build with it going in 
uh, you're going to be copper cable and green circuits only, which means green belt is overkill. And you only now need an input inserter. Because your output's now going to happen on that belt. And it's going to share a belt, the, the, the plastic belt on the way out. Uh, uh, actually, I don't have to do that. Because this is going to go into the next build. Alrighty. Something like that. Uh, no, that can actually stay right there. How short are we? 73. Uh, more importantly, are any of these belts choked? No. So in that case, I'm going to put that on there so we know what it looks like. Uh, I need to get... Well, the answer is the same. It's 9.8. So I need to get two belts of 9.8 copper, which looks like two of these smacked in there. Of course, it's in the way of the smelter things I just of the mining depots I just put down. You know what? Build around the depots. Um. there, that goes there, that goes there, then that goes there. Yes. Uh, yes, I can launch faster. At least that's the plan. Uh, David Irwin, uh, thank you for being a YouTube subscriber. Uh, your intergalactic spaceship is on its way. It shall arrive shortly, I do hope. Okay. Alright, plastic build. Uh, which in itself is going to be a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, mining productivity is finished. Actually, hang on. First off, are we eating through our space science? Yes, we are. Finally. Okay. Which means I can slow down and do some of the little bit more expensive researches, like work robot speed. Um... All right, first things first. Uh, laser ball, the great laser ball. Uh, that doesn't look like my train system lines up. That looks off. That looks off by a fair bit. Okay, pretend I never saw that. Okay. Uh, that goes away. Actually, why am I reinventing the wheel? Do, do, do. From substation to substation. Uh, that's what a laser wall should look like. Uh, no, it's got to line up with that one. Uh, Row report should expand with it uh, trees should all go away uh, that one uh, we'll report out to here somewhere Does that work? 
No. Does that work? Of course it does. Alright, so all this crap outside the wall can also go away. Uh, well, you go away. I'm gonna just line that up loosely. Uh, Rubber port. Here. Go away, trees! Hungry little robot army will definitely take care of all the vegetation, uh, which then means that comes down there, and then I get rid of those. Uh, Web report. One there. One that. Nope. Stop being stubborn. And one there. Alright. And then we're just going to strip out every single tree in that general ish area. Okay. So then, oil. Now, it was suggested to me that I should look at basic oil and just use productivity modules to overcome how terrible it is. So. We're going to give it a try. Uh, then I want a refinery. And that's the oil input side. That's the petroleum side. So then I want a chem plant that does petroleum. And that becomes the assembly. That's literally it. We're going to go oil to oil refinery to chem plant i am going to upgrade the modules to sixes and at the same time we'll probably end up putting in some big fat beacons um although i don't even know if i need it yeah i don't know come on robots there's still 500 of you available somebody come put this down they're definitely made. Uh, seven belt boxes? Where the hell am I missing seven belt boxes? In there. Why am I missing belt boxes? Uh, what do you need for a belt box? You need green belt boxes. Which needs blue belt boxes. Oh, no. Blue? No. Blue belt boxes? You got blue belt boxes. I don't understand. You don't have greens. Greens don't have blues. Blues don't have. Reds. Reds don't have... Yellows. Yellows don't have belt. Uh... I started putting yellow belt into a store... into a buffer box. That's what it is. So it's literally going and flicking the switch and saying, yes, you can request from, from buffer chests. I don't mind. Stupid game. Stupid buffer chests. Um, yes, it's perfectly fine. You can do that. I'll allow it. And I'll start the whole chain back off again. Uh, do we have any... Ooh, ooh, we have accumulators. We have the next level of accumulators. We don't have any of the next next level of accumulators, but we have some. We're getting there. So that means you must be... You're done for accumulators. You're not done for solar panels. Uh, we're so not done for speed sixes. At all.
Okay. Um, what was I doing up here? I oh, know I was doing oil. That's what we're doing. Hopefully they've arrived. Have they arrived? If they haven't arrived, I'm going to be really disappointed. Uh, let me guess. Is the robot hovering in the air? Yeah. Uh, basic oil. Which leads to basic petroleum. Which leads to a upgrade planner. Which leads to... 32 oil in, 33 petroleum out. 32 petroleum in, 3 plastic out. Oh. This could end up with some really nice ratios. Uh, only made possible by stupidly fast pro uh, stupidly high productivity modules. Okay, we're going to use these beacons because these are the ones I have currently. Well, actually I have the other ones. Yeah, that's the easy part. I guess we just make it go faster. Okay. You're going to make... 800 petroleum, which is only used 600 by one chem point. Can I... Fit two chem plants in? I know, you're getting greedy, GD. It's fine. I don't mind being greedy. I don't mind being greedy at all. Uh, although, hang on, that was 800 for 600? Oh, no. That's... You're outputting 800. We only need 700. Oh, yeah, we're going to run two. Uh, what am I looking for? Pipe. So those two would have to be connected like that. Now, neither of you have full beacon coverage. But if we were to do... i got to get plastic. i got to get coal in and plastic out. In theory, I can do it Do it with even that in the way. How are we feeling now? Uh, input 800. See, that's really close ratio-wise. Okay. Now... I go fine and steal modules. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yoink. to go steal another module. Another pair of modules. Dirty thief. Uh, nope. Yes. Cool. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Alright. Uh, with our fancy dancy speed sixes, we're going to put them in there and then we're going to try that. That's 26 plastic out. Now, look, I know it's crappy, crappy oil. But that makes things so much more simple. So now, literally, my goal is... Copy that. Uh, oh, look, there's, there's some oil. It went green. Done. Uh, oil, it went green. Uh, oil, it went green. I am wasting so many modules. Don't get me wrong. Um, in fact, I couldn't keep this up long term because that's just a ridiculous amount of speed sixes. Uh, let's try... Let's try ripping those up. Putting down those. Stop the flashy lights. So that's speed 6, that's speed 3. Speed 6 is 26, which is a massive amount. Speed three. Oh, it's only nine. It's only nine. Okay, this might be one of those places where it's just, it's better to use the sixes. Um, 
actually I have to put a second beacon in there and make that run a little bit faster I cannot get another one around that refinery in fact that one and that one both do nothing um, okay so we could come back later put in speed sixes and then vastly shrink the amount of oil mm, oil oil contraptions because it's not a production line or anything fancy like that it's definitely a contraption this stage how many of those we'd need uh okay but it also means i need two two coal in actually let's let's plan around the bigger and better one so i need 26 out Okay, so to do 26 out, we're going to go out, out. Uh, um, we're going to have a squiggly. Okay, so that's our coal in. That's our plastic out, which I'd like to run on just one side of a belt wherever possible. Uh, it unfortunately means I'm splitting the coal continuously. Or, oh, actually, it's just five coal. It's just five coal. I don't need anything fancy like a loader. I literally need a belt. And five coal can go in with an inserter. Oh, that's way better. 26, I'm... I, <laughs> just use a loader. It's fine. Uh, oh, crap. I don't remember how much. 10? 10? I know the math is going to be wrong, but it was like 9.8, wasn't it? 15. Actually, it was 15. So if one of these produces 9... Uh, yep. So... Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. You can go away. Uh, you'll be replaced with your bigger and better cousin. Uh, 9... Oh, 9, 18, 27, 36, 54... Yeah, that should be enough. And of course, this one as well, which we want to shrink grade back to. Actually, I won't do it just yet. Because uh, I still need to get coal from here and here. Uh, and obviously, pick up some trees on my way past. Doo -doo -doo. How the hell did you guys get in here? Okay. Um, coal build. Uh, other coal build. Uh, that one. Uh, that can go away. You guys are going to come out. We're going to copy that. And I'm going to put it there. That can go away. No, it's better off down here. Uh, we already know that I'm going to want something closely resembling that. Uh, uh, with a substation with outer mini-me sorter, inserter. Yeah, I don't need a mini-me inserter. 
Uh, and then I want a second one of those over here. Sure, which will definitely need a mini me inserter. Uh, because it's right near a train track and there are going to be some casualties of, uh, the train system. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, which we can underground up to there. We can grab the other belt of coal. Run it across. Uh... Once we get everything into the same neighborhood, uh, you can output on the right side of the belt. You're also outputting and inserting onto the right hand side of the belt. So, yeah, after we get everything in the right neighborhood, do I have power? I do have bot range all the way from A to B. Uh, you know, my mini me's. Why the hell do I have so many repair packs? Um, but yeah, after we get everything in the, into the right neighborhood, then we're going to attempt to actually plan out exactly how the build's going to work, along with probably do our best to find out how many speed sixes we actually need and start getting them built. I want you blacklist, so you keep those things around. So we want to go get rid of that, that. Two, three, four. I'll do uh, that one. All those lasers with those lasers and doors and doors and doors. And come on, undo. Okay, just to there. If a biter paths around here and happens to fit through the gap between this laser wall and this laser wall, which do have technically complete coverage of one another, and then gets in the base, I will give the biter a reward and let him eat whatever he wants until his heart is full. His desires are being quelched. Quelched, yep. Uh, okay, we want to go... Uh, how do I want to do this? Technically, I can make all one big loop. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go all the way up first. Uh, about there. Maybe you don't run sideways with belts in hand. So bring that down. Bring that down. That was the extent of the green belt. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So we bring you up, bring you across, bring you down. Can I? It's like 30 plastic. Can I have the plastic and the coal run on one belt? Just to minimize some of the belts. Um. Maybe for the next iteration. Maybe then. Because uh, I'm literally thinking I could just sweep in from here to here out to there and just have inserters put on the belt, inserters take off the belt. At the far end, we get both plastic and. Um, oh, you nightmare. Uh. I'm going to underground that and do it that way. 
Um, yeah, I can have literally one belt that just swings around and, and, and swings in here, past here, back out, and at the far end, just have everything collected. Uh, are we in robot range? We are in robot range. Uh, so at the same time, let's just hook you in. Uh, which then needs to go into that one, which will stack a belt uh, actually like that. Uh, coal to plastic. It's going to be another pain in the bum. Uh, actually, probably worse so. No, because I can move you up a tile. I can move you up a tile. And then we can do some short hokey pokey. Yes. Uh, done. Okay, so that'd be the plastic outbelt, which comes down and joins into the plastic outbelt, which funnily enough becomes another plastic outbelt, which joins into this plastic outbelt and into, you would never guess it, but that plastic outbelt. Okay, so apart sh from being short, lots of beacons, this build is done. Uh, that's going to be reversed. That needs a single belt. Okay, and I honestly do not think you make 280 oil per second. You need 900 oil per second, but you have 170 percent uh, productivity from research. Plus, you have 400 percent. Uh, mining speed. Yeah, they they they're not going to need speed modules at all. So the pump jacks are done, the refineries are done. Uh, we have plastic, which I want to feed in here with red so uh, with green circuits because I still think that's probably going to be my easiest answer. Uh, I could do silly things, but it's probably easy just to uh, just to do it the way I had intended originally. Uh, don't you agree, Chris Jet? Chris Jet definitely agrees with me. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Your intergalactic spaceship is definitely in the post, and I'm dodging the rail tracks because I do not get hit, want to get hit by train. Uh, but yeah, your, your intergalactic ship is definitely in the post. It shall be with you shortly. Uh, thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button. Uh, I want to say welcome to the channel, but I I have data about how old people are or how, how long people have been subscribed. You don't come up with my memory as a recent subscriber. Uh, okay, so I want to change our sixes for threes, if we still have sixes in here. Uh, it looks like it. So swap those over. And then go back to base, uh, which is still short 149. So, so many. Uh, actually, let's swap all of those over. More? More, more? More, please, sir. Okay, and then I should be able to come to this end, upgrade the ones that I stole out of this build. 25. Nope. Still not enough. Oh, because the ones that I stole out of that build are being put back as well. Uh, eight. Eight's definitely a better number. I like eight. Uh, it's one. It's two. It's two for this build. All right. So I want to wait for those to get put in, and I'm I'm, I'm literally gonna I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna wait for these two to go in, so then we can use max rate calculator. Oh, of course, Judy. 
Because Green Circuit's going to come in from the top. Oh, you did it again. That need not be there. That need not be there. Stand here until we see plastic on the other lane. Uh, like so. Stand here until there's no plastic on my lane. Can I walk up a little bit? I can. At least now I'm only bleeding off one belt rather than two. Uh, yep, still going. Still going. Better. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait next episode until these are finished, like so. Um, and we can... No, I'll probably wait till that flashy light goes off. Uh, so I get the last three in there, and you're being held up by... Where is that build? You are being held up by... Uh, speed blue circuits blue circuits okay um do i still have one of these eating blue circuits i do well that makes an obvious su suggestion all right i'm gonna wait till the base catches up and then next episode we're gonna hook in green circuits to this get copper hooked up to this as well which i think is just gonna come in here and here Yes, and if we decide to expand it down, we'll just keep, uh, we'll, we'll run it sideways, same as we did with the last build. Um, but yeah, we've definitely hit our limit of speed sixes. Because I, I can't sit around and wait half hour between episodes to build more of them. Um, like We're only making three per minute. Um, this is why during the early, you know, 20 episodes ago, you'd find me go do something for an hour before I need, did another product, uh, productivity six build just so we could build a backlog of modules. Because uh, although I have the speed threes in stock, I obviously don't have the blue circuits to mass produce more, mass produce and actually craft the speed module sixes fast enough. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I can't just throw speed modules at the problem. Uh, or actually, can I? Like, you can definitely be fed faster. Uh, so you put stress on my red circuits, which will cut down my module production. Do I need modules? Not really. Okay, this might be an interim solution. Um, you actually have a bucket list for excess to go off to the network. Yeah, this might be an interim solution. Um, either way, I'm still going to end the episode here. I'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we can confirm and finish a red circuit build, blueprint it down a couple of them, and then move on to our blue circuit shenanigans. Anyway, like I said, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.